happened was um, somebody at Davis, well, okay, I'll go back to this a little bit. Lowell Thomas, everybody remember that name? Mm -hmm. Lowell Thomas, he was a famous news correspondent, mm -hmm. and his son was in the Air Force, and this is around 1940 or so, and he got injured and he was sent to the hospital at DM. He had some kind of an illness. <laughs> so his dad came out here to visit, and they were both avid skiers. And they and some other people who were interested in skiing decided to form a DM, a, a government-sponsored um, ski club. Uh, an official, it was called a ski recreation program, and it was official. And they, the, the Air Force provided the four-wheel drive Jeeps to drive up here. And I don't know who bought the skis, but um, everybody, they had skis and a couple of pilots were, were on the Olympic, one pilot was on the Olympic ski jumping team in 1940, and so he conducted a little ski school and started teaching these guys how to ski. And they came up here and they scoured around, tried different places, and they discovered this one was the best. And they, they skied through here originally without clearing trees and stuff. Oh. Then Lowell Thomas used his influence and got with the Forest Service, and they used uh, workers from the, this is around 1945 now, they used workers from the prison crew that were building the highway and they got them to clear a ski run from up by the, where we'll go up to the top of it, to come down here. And they used a Model A mobile, mobile, M-O-B-I-L, which I never heard of, automobile, to uh, power a rope tow that went up this hill here to get them back up. At first, when they were checking it out, they had to drive up that bare wallow road right there and go drive around all the way up to the top again in their Jeeps. So they um, came up here and skied, and I got all this information out of uh, the book titled Look to the Mountains by Suzanne Hensel, who her husband was a Forest Service guy, and she was a school teacher in the Summer Haven School for years, and they lived up here with their children. And she has pictures in there, this fabulous picture of the Saguaro Ski Club. So once this got going, people in Tucson, with the military guys, and there were a picture of all these people, girls in long dresses, down to here, 50s poodle skirt types, with their skis, surrounded by saguaros. I mean, it, it is, it's oh, really, it's, yeah, it's really <laughs> freaky. So yeah. they came up here and they did this, used this ski run until the mid-1950s <clears throat> when the current ski valley area was developed and opened. So that's the story of Mount Women.